Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is music. Let's get to it. Question 1. Which American singer, songwriter, and actress released the song Just Dance? Is it A. Drake B. Lady Gaga C. Hikaru Yutada Or D. Madonna The answer is B. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, known for her eccentric style and powerful vocals, released the chart-topping hit Just Dance in 2008. Interestingly, the song was initially written for another artist but ended up becoming Gaga's breakthrough single. Its infectious beats and catchy lyrics propelled her into superstardom, setting the stage for a remarkable career ahead. Question 2. What band's rendition of Red Red Wine topped the charts in 1988? Is it A. UB40 B. Radiohead C. The Police Or D. Red Hot Chili Peppers The answer is A. UB40 UB40's rendition of Red Red Wine not only topped the charts in 1988, but also had an unexpected effect on wine sales. The song became so popular that it led to a surge in red wine consumption worldwide, with people associating the catchy tune with enjoying a glass of vino. Cheers to the power of music! Question 4. Whose version of My Way had a poignant release late in 1977? Is it A. Leonard Cohen B. Johnny Cash C. Bob Dylan Or D. Elvis Presley The answer is D. Elvis Presley Elvis Presley's version of My Way had a poignant release late in 1977, just months before his untimely death. The song became synonymous with his legacy, as it captured the essence of his life and career. With its powerful lyrics and Elvis's soulful rendition, this rendition remains an iconic tribute to the king of rock and roll. Question 5. Which American female singing group released the song The Girl from Ipanema? Is it A. Live B. The Velvet Underground C. Three Six Mafia or D. The Supremes. The answer is D. The Supremes. The Girl from Ipanema is a timeless bossa nova classic, but did you know that it was actually released by The Supremes? This American female singing group, known for their Motown hits, put their own spin on the Brazilian tune in 1966. It's a delightful fusion of musical styles that showcases their versatility and talent. Question 6. Who had a hit in 1994 with Wonder Man? Is it A. Right Said Fred B. Our Lady Peace C. Level 42 Or D. Feeder The answer is A. Right Said Fred. In 1994, the British band Wright said Fred had a hit with their catchy song Wonder Man. Known for their flamboyant style and infectious beats, this unexpected success added another feather to their cap. So next time you're feeling fabulous, crank up Wonder Man and let your inner diva shine. Question 7. Which English rock band released the studio album Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me? Is it A. The Cure B. Level 42 C. Deep Purple Or D. Snow Patrol The answer is A. The Cure The Cure's album Kiss Me, Kiss Me Kiss Me holds the record for having the longest song title in their discography. The track One More Time is officially titled One More Time, Extended Mix, and has a whopping 11 words in its name. 
Talk about making a statement with a song title. Question 8. What song did Gary Newman have a hit with in 1980? Is it A. Somebody's Watching Me B. Cars C. Heart and Soul Or D. I Know What Boys Like The answer is B. Cars Gary Newman's hit song Cars not only dominated the charts in 1980, but it also had a lasting impact on popular culture. Its distinctive synth-driven sound and catchy lyrics made it an instant classic. Interestingly, the song was inspired by an incident where Newman was stuck in traffic and observed that cars seemed to have their own personalities. Thanks for tuning in to this musical journey. Remember, life is like a melody full of highs and lows, sharps and flats. Keep rocking on. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until tomorrow dawns, take care and goodbye for now. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.